Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm back today to maybe just do a little craft with me, uh, we'll have a little chit chat and uh, we'll see how things go. So this video has taken a couple of turns. <laughs> At first I was going to do some masterboard collaging. So I started doing that and I made two of them here. So I was going to show you how uh, I created the collage masterboards on wallpaper. A few videos back I had told you maybe um, that a friend of mine gave me about five or six wallpaper books and since then I have sort of taken the pages out kept what I wanted and um, so now I have this huge stack of wallpaper and I'm trying to figure out things that I could possibly use them for so I collage on some of them just because the backs have interest now and I don't have to worry about what's going to be on the back of, say, a tag or whatnot, a uh, journal card. So I started doing that. Also, what I used for the actual um, pages was, and I don't remember whose video I was watching, but they said that they were using this type of thing. So these are like pages that you would get in, like packs that you would get from AliExpress or like one of those, and I don't exactly remember where these all came from but it's probably something like that. I had quite a few of them and the papers are light and generally they give you you know a couple of different color options so I thought that was neat so I cut them up I found the colors that I wanted to use within that master board and and created these so they're really cute and they work really well for this sort of thing, especially if you don't use them all the time. I forgot I had them. I just been sort of shuffling them around back and forth. And so this is what I did with them. So I was going to cut these up with you and then decorate a little bit. So what ended up happening was I went to my um, a little bin that I have and it was full of like all the scraps that I keep from when I do collaging or when I do projects and that bin was so overwhelming I couldn't find the proper colors this and that so I was watching I believe uh, Margaret from Seven Plaza and um, she was showing how she organizes even her scraps so at first I'm like oh, how how in the world am I going to organize my scraps? I don't know. But then I did. So, and it was like probably the best thing that I could have done. So I had these, um, yeah, I'll just quickly show you. I had these envelopes that I had purchased at like uh, the dollar store. Um, yeah, I bought them at the dollar store and like they've had a thousand things in them and then I would take it out because they're just useless. <laughs> but... Uh, so I decided to turn them into my scrap thing. There's a few more in my drawer there and I just can't get them all out. But so I separated everything. Like these are newspaper scraps, like more like handmade paper, you know, my music paper. So every scrap is in there. So now I could just pull out the, the pile and it's just all one theme. Um, you know, dictionary page. I don't really like to throw things away because then I start collaging and I'm looking for that little bit. You don't necessarily want to like, you know, tear up a whole paper. So then these are strips, so longer pieces and so on. There's my book pages in there, right? So thank you to Margaret for that little tidbit because it's made my life easier. Um, so there's maps. Yeah, so now when I need something, I just pull out the envelope and bam, we're done. The point of all that was, once I got in there, I started noticing that I had like other projects that I hadn't finished. I had like some tags. These are some, um, some Italian ephemera that I had and I printed them onto some card and made them into tags. Right, so I found those. And then like little bits I could somehow turn into labels. Um, so there's probably like off cuts of stuff. There's like a little bag that I made out of, I think wrapping paper maybe. Some off cuts of stuff. So yeah, I have a lot of 
little bits, like a taller tag. Again, like stuff I could use for labels. So they've been collaged, but they've never been, um, like I never did anything with them. So I just thought maybe we can go through a few. Um, there's bigger ones here for like journaling cards or tags and whatnot. So I just thought maybe we could play around. I can get some things out and we can play and get, see what we can get done. Probably not that much, but it's something, right? So I'll get back to um, cutting these out and then just doing virtually the same thing that we're gonna do here. So I was thinking about this well, with the Italian um, writing. I would like to do something with black and white for that one. So let's see. Uh, to the left of me here, I have all of my, let me see if I can show you. I have all of my um, bins <laughs> there, and those are all filled with, um, and then there's another one to the left of me here, right down here. Um, so these are all filled with uh, all of my stuff, uh, which I'll show you in a second. I also have those separated. So I think I wanna do, um, like for instance, these are my solos. Um, and then, you know, I have groups, so everything is kind of labeled. So I like to be organized, so I try anyway. So I'm probably gonna put a black and white solo on there. And then I would also like to put um, something in the background. And then I would also like to use a sticker, let's see. I got my black and whites um, here. I'm sorry about any glare. I'll try to hide that. And we need like a background. I got some bits oh, from Tim Holtz. Those are hard to open. Oh, that's cute. But it's not really, um, could we put a tag on a tag? Could we put a tag on a tag? Once I ink that, I'm covering up the hole, but I could repunch the hole. Let's see. Do we have anybody that's carrying something? She's too big. I need somebody who's carrying something, like maybe a suitcase. Yeah, I dug through my solos and I kind of found somebody a little bit. I felt fit this appro more appropriately. <laughs> so I've never really put a tag on a tag before, but I think we're gonna try that. I'm gonna, um, I kind of was hoping that this tag was a little bigger, but you know, now I'm looking at this. I have these other ones too that might fit these colors just a little better. The black, the blue, and this sort of like almost purple, pink which seems to be on here. But then if I put this tag on there, it's all gonna get covered up. It would be a shame to cut that off. Okay, let's try something. Now I'm just really thinking outside the box. I opened my scissors. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut this off and maybe use that as a label somewhere. Okay. black part. I like this one better. Okay. I'm going to put Buddy on there. Like that. And then, what can I do with this? Can we layer up a little bit? Could layer up like that. 
I had pulled out this little piece of a sticker, but I don't, I'm not sure. Like a little floral peeping out there. Not sure if we would need that though. Could I make that work? I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to try. I'm going to stick this down. Okay. Um, should I ink? No, I'll ink last. I'll put this little sticker on the side. So, I hope everybody had a nice um, or lovely Easter this past weekend. Was it this past weekend? Oh my goodness. Time is just flying. Yeah, it's um, a little bittersweet for me anyway. Um, it will be eight years uh, since my dad got really sick. Um, happened at Easter time. Actually, the day after we got together, you found out the first time about his cancer. He had three different cancers since in the last eight years. Um, but he is doing okay now and thank God. So Easter's kind of tough for us. Just seemed like every time Easter rolled around, uh, my dad was getting something or finding some, you know, bad news. So anyway, but Easter was really nice this year. We had a good time and I hope yours was the same. Okay. So we put the ink on that. I'm just going to ink this up while we're here. I think um, before I do anything, I'm going to get um, my little, uh, what do you call that? Hole reinforcer. Mm -hmm. Eons ago, I had made my own. So I put them in here. Hopefully I have a black one there. I just used my own inks. Um, on them and just made a bunch of different colors like who hasn't done that right I'll just put that on there for now okay I'm gonna put this down so we can get a move on here yeah so I hope you guys are all doing well taking good care I've been watching a lot of videos um, because crafting hasn't been all that great for me. I enjoy watching everybody so much though. Okay, there's that. So yeah. I was telling you about that wallpaper, all that wallpaper. Um, if I could show you, you wouldn't even... It's just like hundreds of sheets, all different patterns and just inking up the dude here. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you guys got any ideas of what I could do with it. Um, I'm thinking of a few projects, like I've made envelopes and like the backing of tags and things like that. I'm, I'm sure I could think of a few other things, but do you guys got any suggestions as to what you might like to see or what I could try to use some of this up? Um, some of it I kept like bigger pieces because um, they would make beautiful like journal covers. So I know I could do that. Just barely fits. But he looks like somebody who would have been on like the Titanic or something. <laughs> okay. And our little sign here. So I broke down and I bought the art glitter glue thinking it would be a little easier to squeeze because it's small. Um, so it's not too bad for me, um, uh, but the glue itself is phenomenal. I don't know why I waited so long. Well, I do because it's a little bit pricey, but it's well worth it. 
Just gonna over that, lap that a little. Is that it? Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so cute. Okay. I'm gonna ink up those edges just a tiny touch. Yeah, so do you guys do that? Like, I probably started, like, all that you see here, all those were probably ideas that I had and then never got around to it. And then projects end up, like, everywhere. And then I, I don't know, I was looking at that and I'm like, well, I should probably do something with those. It's always have so nice to have something in your stash that's done, right? All right, well, that's the first one done. I've made a few others, and I'll show you at the end. Um, but yeah, I love that. That just was a surprise. Sometimes when you look in your stuff, you'd be amazed at what you have. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. How about a... I've got this little bag. Maybe we should do something with that. Well, I wasn't really thinking about real doily, but that might work too. But I could only use a little bit, though. I could even make it smaller. Just cut it down like something like this. And then put something on there. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hurry. This is me hurrying. <laughs> but everything hurts. I got a fresh manicure. I like it. Not my normal color, but I'm feeling a little bit more springy these days. I don't know. Weather's getting to be a little nicer now. I lost my scissors. How about you guys? How's the weather where you're at? Am I going to go around the back a little bit just to make it stick better? Yeah, so... Spring is coming, and we had snow last week, and um, this week, uh, one of the days we're supposed to get up to, I think, 17 or 20 degrees already, so we'll see. That would be really nice um, for Canada at this time. That's actually really good. Okay, so before I change my mind, I think I'm just going to glue that down right away. Let's see if I can use glue stick. So what have you guys been working on? What projects have you been doing? I kind of feel like um, collaging and, you know, doing tags and stuff like that is sort of back on the scene. <laughs> it's like everybody wants to get some stuff done. I guess it makes it so much easier, right, to have things done and in your stash. Sorry, I don't even know if I'm off camera. All right, so we got the doily on. Now what? Uh, let's see, what do we have in our little tidbits over here? All right, so I was looking through my little tidbits over here and I found this. It's a little big but I think I can make it work on here. I also want to put this sticker on in the background and I think I'll put that little tag on as well. So it's gonna be a little much, a little busy for a little bag, but peel that. I love these, I love stickers, these vellum stickers. Sometimes they're not easy to peel, but that's my problem. <laughs> uh, other than that, they're great. So I'll put that down first. I'm on a black and white kick if you haven't noticed. I press them down a little. We'll do something with some color now in a minute. I'm going to put this here. And then we have this little ticket that says dance. I wish it said something other than dance, but I guess birdies dance in the air. We're not, I'm not sure. And I think I'll put that there. 
it's very quick drying this glue you really have no wiggle room do you so you have to make that just decision and stick with it all right and that's it little bag completed cute okay let's move on what else do we have let's do a um like a journal card maybe oh that would be a journal card it's going the right way let's see I like to round my corners. Yikes. Maybe that's full. Oi. <laughs> okay. So there's that. What do I want to put on here now? Let's see. Mm. Okay, guys, so I was just going through my stash and I came across one of my boxes that says mini pages. <laughs> and look what I found. I don't even know what I have anymore. It's just way too much. Um, but these are those same kind of papers I was talking about that you can get at like, you know, AliExpress and such. But these ones are so you like there's such nice patterns on here there's a lot of interesting patterns like these like they have book page um okay, there's some weird ones in there too frogs the f some of the pictures are just really really beautiful and i honestly don't remember what this is called or even where i got it but yeah these are great for like journal cards and stuff. A lot of mushrooms in there. So that's what I thought we would do on this one is um, do a little mushroom theme. So I went ahead and picked out a few things already so it wouldn't take extra time. So I got this sheet with all of the mushrooms on it and it's too big so I'm just gonna cut it down a little. There we go. Try that. Get this back. I have to eat this up a little. I can't use black. I'll try this. Make it stand out a little. So one of the other projects that I've been kind of thinking about doing is um the Rolodex cards, I have a lot of them. And so I went to a thrift store and ended up finding like a Rolodex thingy. Um, it's not really the one I wanted. And then we were over at my mother-in-law's place and I um, asked her if she had one. And she had a couple of different things. Maybe I'll show you guys that in another video. And um, so I think I might try to get on that make some Rolodex cards. I have this little ticket that I like, so I think I'm gonna put that right under there before I glue that down. And then also while I was there at my mother-in-law's, my, um, my in-laws at one time owned their own business and um, she like kept a lot of stuff so like like office stuff and so once in a while I ask if she has something and guess what she does because she kept a lot of things um, not that she really necessarily needed them but I gotta tell you some of it came in handy for me so um, one of the things she just gave me sorry we'll get off that for a second was this like a business card holder and it was full of business cards and so I took them all out, but what it was great for was my stamps. Um, so, and I don't know how you guys keep your stamps. I've seen a lot of different ways that you store them. Um, but 
I thought this was a neat idea for storing them kind of um, by you know what they are or by color or by season or however you wanted to do it so this is I just I just wrote on there like airmail um, so, sort of things so that's what I put in there and then sorry there's an awful glare and then you know animals fish you know um, so I got my blacks and my grays blues and so I just pull out the thing and see what fits browns greens nature I got them all in here um, purple um, there's Christmas or, or you know winter season some more Canadian ones and then then ones that I have left on the paper with um, stamps and stuff I love those um, these were just purchase ones like that are kind of more like stickers I got yellow so I got room for a lot more and so that's just an idea um, you could keep this sort of thing or you find these things a lot when you go to thrift stores or garage sales or whatever and it uh, it's really come in handy I love it it's kind of neat and out of you know I don't have stuff everywhere I actually have a stamp collection from when <clears throat> I was a girl I'm still a girl, but you know, uh, uh, yeah. And I just been recently, I went through it, and I recently been wondering really what I could do with it. Um, do I use the stamps? Do I like? I don't know what I have that might be valuable. I'm not too sure. I really just rather stick them to my journals, to be honest. But um. I don't know. I haven't really decided. I went through them a little bit and I pulled out like duplicates of stuff that I knew weren't, weren't like um, sort of quote unquote valuable. So I, uh, I put a bunch in that little book that I just showed you. And so yeah, what do you think I should do with my stamp collection? I have boys. Neither one are interested. Who's going to want it? I don't know. Do I just enjoy it now? So I, I have a little mushroom sticker here with sort of a label thingy on it. So I'm just going to half put it on here. Stickers makes everything so fast and easy. So, so far so good. And then I have a label, two labels. I think I'm going to put one label inside the other one. Let me just ink this a little. I got glue on me. I'm going to put that inside that. I believe um, these are just Tim Holtz bits. Um, I just did that because I don't want to get my stamps out, <laughs> but I probably would have put a number or something in there. And um, we can put that maybe and. Ink all around this, and there, that's done. Okay, that's three. Let's move on here. Where did I put that little pile of paper? I uh, was eyeballing um, this. I would like to do greenery, maybe. Let's try that. I like that. We'll do it on a tag. So I probably need one that's going up and down more like a tag it kind of takes up the whole thing but I could cut down on one row let's try that just to make it centered a little more let's take this off yeah because the top says botany I think I'm gonna leave that 
Something. What can we put back there? I just found that little. And so, what if it hangs off? I like that. Okay. <laughs> I convinced myself. <laughs> Okay, so what I thought I might have to do here is um, find something else that I could use to cover up a portion of that um, if I wanted to use a flower. And that's what I think we're going to do. So then that can go on there. Something like that. And, um, yeah, oh, maybe I'll put that down there. Okay, let's glue this together. Took me a little while to figure that one out. Okay, my rounding, no, I'm turning this into a tag. So, what are we doing? So, we're going to make this a tag first. Am I going to put just a circle hole in there or a fancy hole? Let's see. I got my... I think we'll use this one. Let's see which kind that is. The ones that you get at the store uh, when they hang things on the racks at the store. <laughs> I believe I got this on Amazon. It's a We Are Memories Keeper. I'm not exactly sure what that's called. Tag Puncher. I'm not sure. If I remember and I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it. Was it Amazon? Anyway, it's We Are Memories. We Are Memory Keepers. I don't know if you can see that at all, but yeah. It's kind of cool. It's nice for bigger tags, like these. Um, but it's nice because you can get like your uh, ribbons and stuff through there without a problem. Get this up really quick. All right. So I'm gonna attach that to the bottom of that. First things first. Okay. So my son's band was over last night, so my craft room is just off of where we let them do band in our basement. And I was dying to record something last night, but obviously couldn't, or else you would not be hearing me right now. And then they're like, oh, we're coming back tomorrow. <laughs> so, I'm like, well, let me get downstairs or else my chance will be over. I mean, I could still work down here and do my own thing, but I, you know, there's no way that you can record because it's so loud. But they're doing very well with their band. Um, they actually have their first gig coming up um, in Toronto. And... I've been to one little show that they did, so like their very first thing, but I'm quite sad because I probably I won't be able to go to this, their first one, and like I'm band mom, so I, <laughs> it's pretty sad. It's in Toronto, it's on a Tuesday night, it starts at like 
eight or nine or something and then God knows there's I think you know a few other bands also playing and so God knows what time I would get home my husband's working so I don't know Toronto very well I don't drive out there so <sighs> I'm a little bummed all the girlfriends are going everybody but I guess someone can record it for me I didn't think I'd miss the first one, but it looks like I might. I'll be there in spirit. Cheering them on. I'm very proud of those boys. Okay. That's better. My stomach is growling. I can get this off. Okay, we'll get that on there. That's... Whoa, I didn't even try to center that. It's not the best, but it's cute. Okay, trim that off. I still feel like we could do a little something right there. Okay, I was just looking through my, um, my I don't know what they're really called, my little bits <laughs> by uh, Tim Holt stuff. And I found this little thing. It's got some of the red in there. So we're going to put that down in that little empty space. Okay. Just like that. Let's see. Do we have time for one more? Um, okay. Turn this into a tag. Okay. This time we'll use um, this. Who's this by? EK. It's that little slotted one there. My stomach is growling still. Um, okay, so if you, um, so the slot is a little small, but you can um, make it bigger yourself by just punching and then um, keep punching along. <laughs> Overlapping the hole that you already made. So that you could slide something in there. There, like that. Eat that up really quick. All of these tags, um, so th like I said, because I pulled them out of my bin, don't have anything on the backs right now. Um, but you could, you know, obviously collage back there, back them with something. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to do a frame. Where's my frames? I have this. I believe this is also an AliExpress, or maybe, I, don't, I have no idea. Little, little um, pictures of ladies. Uh in these little frames. These are really cute. So I'll just pick one and then we'll go with the colors. Okay. So pretty. Let's see. I'm going to try to take off a little bit of the blue edge here. So it just looks like a lace frame. I need to find like really good scissors that are lighter and easier to open. Um, for some reason I find it so much easier to cut with big scissors but in light of my situation I um, I'm finding it very hard to use those scissors but I love them. And then just a little something up there. Okay what can we put up there? I'm almost feeling like she needs a clear sticker. Let's see. 
Oh, even going up the side would be kind of cute if I had just like a single blue flower. That kind of frames her little face there too, doesn't it? Oh, I'm happy with that. I could still put something there. Uh, what can we put there? Little dictionary things that I got somewhere. <laughs> Don't remember. Probably also AliExpress. Oh, no, this could have been Amazon. There's a lot of them. I even have a couple more in here. These are warmth and something else. But they're all little dictionary, all sayings, um, uh, meanings of words. How about miss? Like a title placed before the name of a girl who is unmarried or unmarried woman. Yeah. Let's try that. I don't even know if that'll work. I don't even know why I thought of that, but we can put that there. I don't know, but that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I don't know. Just ink that up a little. I think that part is going to be hiding anyway. Like that and that and that. Okay, let's glue some stuff down. I think I'll just glue stick that on. Is there a right way? I think I better put this on too before I actually stick that down. Trim that off. All right, and then we'll put this. These are nice too because you can pop them out. They're perforated, so you could take them out of the frame if you'd like. Use the frame separately. Again, I have no idea where I got these. This is like old old stuff, but I'm gonna guess it was probably like an AliExpress kind of thing. I'm I don't do Timu. I'm too afraid to or lots of bad stuff. <laughs> so. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let's get our little sticker on here now. If I can. We're just gonna go around her face, right? There we go. Sorry, my chair is squeaky. <laughs> Sounded bad. Okay, I'll push that down. Could I put something here or do I just leave it? Oh, there's a bigger bit of a bigger one there. I was kind of liking this little maybe I could put that in there it probably doesn't need anything more but I feel like I want to put it on <laughs> yeah, put that there and, oh, you, the stamp goes the other way. Oh, that was close. I don't know if I need more glue under there or not. Just see that? The stamp goes the long way. There's nothing worse than putting something on wrong and then it's dried. And you have to rip it off or just leave it. And, oh my goodness. Not fun. Okay. 
There we go. Okay guys, so um, now I'm just going to show you the ones that we worked on together and then I'll show you a few that I did off camera and um, yeah. So like I said, take out any unfinished projects or I mean cut up a master board and make some tags or some inserts. It's really not too difficult and you can have fun putting on whatever you like. Go through your stash and um, see what you can put together. That's a fun part for me, uh, kind of trying to match up like a theme or something, you know, um, not necessarily have to um, be exactly what's going in your journal or on your project, but something random is always kind of nice to have. Uh, so yeah, so there's our black and white one that we did first. Um, a tag there. Just put another ticket on there. We cut it shorter so that it would fit and put a Tim Holtz um, solo person on there. I just added a little bit of black uh, ribbon. It's really cute. I like that one. And then we made, we just finished this little bag. I had made a bag out of some wrapping paper. And we just put a black and white sticker, an image that I had, and I little tab or tag there or not a label <laughs> it's cute just add it in some happy mail or in a pocket and then we did this little mushroom one with the red I really like it and those nice papers that I had found that would be okay too if you had like um, a gardening book or something you know you could use back there for some layering and then we had this one with the uh, greenery but that one took me a little while because I didn't know it was just too much green underneath and nothing would cover it you could see everything through so it wasn't that great just put a little bit of ribbon, ribbon up there and then my favorite one, I think, I just put some, added some ribbon, was Little Miss here. That one was fun. I enjoyed putting that together. So yeah. So those were the ones that we did together. And then these are the ones that I did off camera. I'll just show you. Same kind of thing. Um, just some ribbon up there. This was just a vellum sticker I had, uh, another sticker here, a label, and they're all, um, and they, these ones have the wallpaper behind them that I used. It doesn't really match, <laughs> but <laughs> it's okay, it's finished, so. So that one I really like as well, and then this one, it's like a blue sticker on there. And a little ribbon. And then that one. So the only problem I have with this is the white that is around the image. I probably could have cut that out, but it's, it is what it is. And it's cute. I don't mind this little sticker in the back. It's really cute. It's hit and miss, right? Trial and error, whatever. <laughs> and then this is another black and white one. Uh, a little bit of black ribbon up here. This time we have a boy and his dog. So that was just, I think, a Tim Holtz um, thing. And then I put a black and white sticker on top of it. Which is th I thought was kind of neat. So that turned out really good. I like that one as well. And then just a couple of the journey journaling cards. This is another one of those frames that I used. I just put a rose on her. Um, some words there. Pink is more than a color, it's an attitude. <laughs> um, some bling and a butterfly. Also backed on some wallpaper. And then lastly, another journaling card. 
same kind of thing. This one is in green. I love it. A label, sticker, a vellum, and um, a frame. So yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. Um, it was nice to actually get something accomplished. <laughs> Um, so let me know what you think about this project. Uh, I know it's nothing new. Everybody's doing this right now, but, um, but it, it's fun and it's nice to see what, um, everybody else's take is on it. And also if you guys have any thoughts on what I'm going to do with all that wallpaper, <laughs> just let me know, um, what you think and that's it. So you guys take good care of yourselves and we will talk to you all real soon. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.